to implement the user defined section, we go to define user defined scalars to get the lift coefficient, and then we go to one. And then we can just leave all of the initial conditions the same. Click OK. And then we want to go to define again, and then actually import the function that you downloaded in the file on the first page. So we go to interpreted, browse to wherever you download the f file. So now you have it in the source file. Everything else is fine, so click interpret, then close. Now that you have the user defined function defined, you want to go to boundary conditions. And in, let's say, cylinder wall one, you want to go to edit. And over here is the user defined scalar tab, so we click it. Instead of a flux, we want a specified value. And then down here, for the user defined scalar boundary value, we can put UDF lift func, which is just a function that's defined around the boundary. So then click OK. And you want to do this for each one of the cylinder walls to get the lift function for each one of them. And you can't do this in bulk, so you're just going to have to go through each one individually and go to edit, UDS, specified value, lift func, so this might take a bit. But the neat thing about this is that you're actually going to be able to get the user defined function on cylinder wall 18, which you specified as a boundary. And now we can go to run calculation, because it's already initialized, and just press calculate. 